Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Kia Sorento SX Turbo. Now the most notable features on this SX is its heated and cooled front seats, its power liftgate, as well as its blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Kia Sorento SX Turbo. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Sorento SX is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look just over on the side, you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now taking a look on your mirrors, you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your power folding mirrors. And then if we take a look on the inside of the mirrors here, you have your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing is you do have the smart key system with it as well. So the nice thing with that is if you want to get into your vehicle without having to uh, take your keys out of your pocket, you can do so. All you have to do is make sure you have your key fob on you at all times and then you can actually get into the vehicle quicker. Now you have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats. Just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side. With your blind spot monitoring on and off as well as your traction control on and off. And then on the inside of your driver's side door you have your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2. Along with your power folding mirror buttons, mirror controls, power locks, window locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth. You also have your cruise control settings as well as your uh, display. And then you also have the push button start. So the nice thing with that is all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look here, you can see a couple of different options on here. So scrolling through it, you can see that you have your service as well as your warning uh, labels there for uh, for your next service. Well, I should say your messages for your next service. Now, if you hit the uh, button just on the uh, side here, you can actually go through the different options on here. Your fuel economy as well as your navigation, your audio messages, and then your settings so that you can personalize everything for yourself. Now, taking a look at your center dash as well as your uh, touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here, including your AM, FM, as well as your satellite radio. You have your navigation, then heading into your setup menu, you can see your navigation sound, display phone, and a couple of other additional features. Down below, you do have your dual zone climate control settings as well as your hazard lights, front and rear defroster. Down below, you're going to see your heated and cooled front seat controls with three different settings, depending on how hot or how cold you want it, with your heated steering wheel as well. And then if we take a look on the inside here, you're going to see your auxiliary as well as your USB. Matted to a automatic transmission with your drive mode as well as your all-wheel drive lock. And then you also have your rear parking sensors on and off. Rearview mirror with integrated garage door opener. And then at the very top, you're going to see your open and close for your uh, panoramic roof with your sunglass case holder as well. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate, you have your backup camera just on your left hand side, and your rear hatch release will be located just underneath your key emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. One of the nice things with this uh, Sorrento is it does come with a cargo liner in the back. So the nice thing with that is if you spill any liquids on here it makes things much easier to clean up. The other thing is you can take this out and have it uh, cleaned uh, properly. You also have the tonneau cover in here as well so if you want to make sure your valuables are actually covered up just while you're going from store to store you can do it that way. And then taking a look just underneath the floor here. You're going to find your jack as well as your toolkit and then a little bit of space to hide away some of your valuables. And your spare tire will be located just underneath your rear bumper here. Now the one thing I like with the Sorento is that a lot of times when you have your hands full with grocery bags or the kids sports bags, sometimes it's difficult to actually close up the tailgate. But the nice thing is all you have to do is push on the button once and it will close automatically for you. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2016 Kia Sorento SX Turbo, 
please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.